You ever open your laptop and it starts acting like it's possessed? Tabs opening by themselves, the fan going crazy, and your mouse moving like it's got a mind of its own? Or maybe you downloaded a totally safe free movie and now your PC greets you with 37 pop-ups in Russian? Congrats, yes, you just invited a virus to live rent-free on your computer. But don't worry, today we're going over every major type of them. Us, what they do, how they infect you, and how to avoid becoming their next victim. First, let's talk about malware. Malware is the big boss, the umbrella term for anything designed to harm, steal, or mess with your computer. It could be deleting your files, spying on your activity, or secretly turning your PC into a crypto mining zombie. It's basically the evil version of software, and every virus, worm, trojan, or ransomware falls under this big category. The tricky thing about malware is how sneaky it can be. It might come bundled with downloads, shady ads, or even fake updates. One wrong click and you've basically invited digital chaos into your system. Next up, we got the classic virus. A computer virus is the OG, the classic infection. It hides inside regular files or programs, and when you open them, the virus activates and spreads like wildfire. It's basically a hitchhiker that jumps from one file to another, multiplying every time you run something. Early viruses were sometimes created as pranks, popping up silly messages or images, but modern ones, they can delete entire folders, steal data, or turn your PC into part of a botnet that attacks websites. And the worst part, a virus needs you to start it. So downloading random free game mods or Windows activators is like personally giving the virus a VIP pass to your system. Next on the list is the virus hoax. Now this one's not even real malware. It's just fear marketing with extra steps. A virus hoax tricks people into thinking their system is infected when it's actually fine. You'll see messages like critical system error, 137 issues found, click here to fix it. The moment you click that fix it button, surprise, that's when the real infection begins. It's the digital version of someone selling you fake medicine that gives you the illness. Virus hoaxes are dangerous because they prey on panic. People end up downloading shady antivirus software that's actually malware. Now let's talk about ransomware. Ransomware is the stuff of nightmares. It sneaks into your system, locks your files, and demands payment, usually in Bitcoin, to give them back. Basically, your computer gets kidnapped and the ransom note pops up right on your screen. Some ransomware targets individuals. Others go after huge companies or hospitals. Once it's in, it encrypts everything, documents, photos, even backups. And here's the cruel part. Even if you pay, there's no guarantee you'll get your data back. So if you ever get an email that says invoice attached from a random address, don't open it. Ransomware doesn't just ruin your files, it ruins your week. Next up, the worm virus. If viruses are contagious, worms are full-blown pandemics. A worm doesn't need you to click or install anything. It spreads automatically through networks and internet connections. Once it's inside one system, it can infect hundreds more in seconds. Some worms are harmless experiments gone wrong, but others have caused millions in damage, like the I love you and Conficker worms. They can clog up internet traffic, delete data, or open doors for hackers to control your devices. And since they spread so fast, even a single infected device on a company network can cause total chaos. Think of worms as the digital version of glitter. Once it's there, it spreads everywhere and you'll never fully get rid of it. This is where stuff becomes more interesting, Trojan. The Trojan horse from Greek mythology tricked people into letting the enemy inside their city, and that's exactly what the Trojans do. They disguise themselves as legit software, games, music players, or even antivirus tools. But once you install them, they start doing all the things you don't want. Stealing passwords, tracking keystrokes, or installing more malware. Trojans can also open secret backdoors that let hackers access your PC whenever they want. They're so convincing because they act normal at first. No slowdowns, no warnings. You might not even notice until strange charges appear on your bank account or your files start disappearing. Next up, Remote Access Trojan. Now imagine a Trojan that gives hackers full control over your computer. That's a rat. Rats let someone on the other side of the world move your mouse, open files, take screenshots, or even turn on your webcam without you knowing. It's like giving a stranger the keys to your house and they don't even have to break in. Rats are often used for spying or stealing personal data quietly. What makes them so scary is that they don't crash your PC or act weird. They try to stay hidden for months. 
months. Hackers can even use RATs to install ransomware or use your PC in coordinated attacks on other systems. And last on our list, the Cryptojacker. Finally, we've got the sneakiest one, crypto jackers. These don't destroy your files. They just secretly use your computer's power to mine cryptocurrency. It's like your PC got a side job without telling you. When infected, your system slows down, your fans sound like jet engines, and your electricity bill goes through the roof. You might think your computer's just old, but nope. It's out there mining Bitcoin for some hacker's wallet. Sometimes crypto jackers come from infected websites or browser extensions that run mining scripts in the background, it's silent, it's subtle, and it's surprisingly common. The internet's full of traps, but knowing what they look like is half the battle, so don't click shady links, don't download sketchy free software, and keep your antivirus up to date. Anyways, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like.